Hi guys! Ariel with Ariel Paints. I had painted this dragon on a little boy at an event last weekend and posted it on Instagram and everyone asked me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever I had it to do a tutorial. My face is itchy. <laughs> So I decided to do a quick one for you guys so that you could see how I did it. It is so easy and when you see how I did it, you're going to roll your eyes because it's a one stroke, a filbert, and a small round brush. It is the easiest design, super effective, full face, really great for festivals. So if you'd like to see how I got this very quick dragon, then keep watching and I will show you. So I'm starting with a three quarter loaded up well with Dragon One Stroke by Tag, very fitting. And I'm going to start in the middle of my forehead just making little peaks and spikes and I'm going to keep them shorter here and then elongate them as they go over my eyebrow. So here we go. You just want to think like spiky and of course I'm not going to do this as nicely on myself as I would do on somebody else it always happens but if you have to like drag the brush it's really crooked <laughs> all right well the good thing is it doesn't matter I'm going to focus Okay, so spike, 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 and then spike it right around the eye. And then spike, big spike up. You're just making U shapes. And then right around the eye. And that's the beginning of the dragon. Now at this point, even though we have some paint left, when sometimes actually I totally do this, I don't know why, just to fill it in. Um, but even though we have some paint left, I want to reload. And I'm gonna do another layer of spikes. can't go wrong if you're just thinking spiky 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 the whole time dragons have spikes so just keep making U shapes and spikes you can do another layer here and then of course clean up the center ones, but I do like to keep the center ones quite a bit lower than, say, the ones on the side. So try to elongate those. Okay, so from there, I like to go over the eye and do a spike. Depending on what age the child is, you can go right over the eye like that. If they are not very big, then I usually will go right here, like over the eyebrow, and then do a spike to fill in the eye. And then I won't go down over their actual eyelid. So when their eyes are open, you still get the full effect, but you're not getting too close to their eye and you're not freaking them out. But obviously this is on me, so I'll sweep it over my eye just for the full effect. Okay, I'm going to reload again. So for the cheek, what you want to do is pull a good spike out, out, and then right in towards the mouth. So do a spike, spike, and then in towards the mouth to create that shape. So you're going to have to reload a lot when you do this, but it's really fast, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So 
we're just creating few shapes. Trying to fill in all the gaps and then go right over the lip. And now for the nose, we're just going to do layers of the one stroke. Doesn't really matter how perfect it is. Go back. I look so weird. <laughs> okay, so Normally, like a little kid's face, with just those two strokes, you're going to fill it in. But with an adult face, like mine, you might have to do another layer of these to fill it in. Or even take the heel of your brush just to get it, like, connected. But kids' faces fill up really quickly, so you're probably not going to have to do that. And then we're going to do the nose. So we kind of want a big, elongated, or overemphasized dragon nose. So making sure that the black is on the outside, we're going to hold the brush down and twist out. Hold it down, push, and twist out. And then if you need to pull it up a little bit, go ahead. And then on the front, black on the bottom, and then twist, and twist, and that creates the dragon nose. Now, that is still really bothering me that that's uneven, so we are going to fix it. I swear, it never happens when I'm painting on someone else, but painting on myself. But see how easy that is to fix? It's very forgiving. You can even, while you have this one stroke, like add extra spikes and stuff. I've done that sometimes. Just a little something extra. Okay. So now for the dragon mouth, we are going to do the same thing, only we're going to go downwards and we're just going to focus it right here to create the beard. So from your last peak right there and right there, just going to go down, 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 and then back up. And just keep Reloading. If you see your black is starting to go away on the end of that dragon cake, there's that nice rich dark black. If you see that disappearing, like you do here, that's a sign that you need to reload. And I just dipped the tip, the toe of this brush back in, not the entire thing. I just dipped the toe into water and I'm just dragging that back and forth. And now I'm gonna have that black back that I want. So let's go this way. See how that makes such a huge difference. Okay, here we go. So you can clean it up as much as you want to, but I'll tell you kids don't really care. Okay, so as far as the mouth, you can go over the mouth. I try to kind of leave it open if it doesn't look too weird because kids are going to be eating ice cream and cheeseburgers and all sorts of other things that are at picnics and events. So I usually try to leave it open. If you want to go over it, just go over it like just enough to not get it inside their mouth. But a lot of time... I avoid it and it looks just as good and they don't really care so but for the video 
And we'll just kind of draw a brush right over it, which of course looks better. So depending on how old the kid is, if they're old enough, they can usually handle this and not, you know, eat too much paint. But if they're little, I just avoid it. I go kind of right around. I leave a ring around their mouth and they don't notice, they don't care, and their parents are actually really happy that I did it. So, all right, I look totally insane. <laughs> but there you go. That is the absolute base of the dragon. How easy is that? It's just as quick as doing the one stroke dragon that goes around the eye. I tend to do that kind of a dragon on people's arms a lot when they want a dragon, but when they want a dragon on their face, I'm like full face dragon. Here we go. So that's what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I look so weird. Okay. So now <laughs> let me get my sponge all ready with some neon yellow. I think that's what we'll do since Everybody who was asking me for this design had seen one that I had done on a little boy at an event that was red with neon details. So I will do it just like I did that one so you guys can see what it looked like. Hopefully my sponge is loaded well enough here. This is one of those things where the stencil makes all the difference in the world. It makes it look like a dragon and just gives it like a ton of personality. I need a little bit more paint. That's a little light. I usually do the stencil, I like to keep it like that inside small to big and then I like to point it going towards my nose. So they're going down towards my nose or they're going in towards my nose. So I'm going to do I'm totally covering my eye so I can't see anything. Okay, so the texture makes a huge difference. Just makes it look more like a dragon and really cool. Um, and this is not even coming off as neon-y as I'd like because my paint isn't getting very tacky. There we go. My cake just wasn't wet enough. That is much better. Okay, so this is going to be a couple layers of stencil, so it's going to look really intense, but I'd rather you be able to see it, so we're, we're going with it. Yeah, that's much better. Not enough paint. Okay, there we go. Much better. Go ahead and bring it down over the nose. And then, of course, onto the chin. This is by far one of those steps that turns it in from a really kind of like awkward looking shape to a really cool dragon. So a couple of things you want to make sure emphasized are again these peaks at the top so if they are not, you can always go back and really overemphasize them. And then these here at the bottom too, I think make a big difference to have them nice and kind of peaked out. You can always flick a few extra little guys. along the way because this is a spiky dragon and whatever you can do with what's already on your brush, do it. Okay, so there's our basic shape. 
the last thing we need to do are the spikes of the dragon. And for me, there is a difference between a dragon and a dinosaur. You can use this as a dinosaur, um, and kids probably aren't going to be able to tell. My dinosaur does look a little bit different. It has more of like a rounded edge to it with a hump. And then I always do like a horn on the nose, and that's my way of distinguishing my dinosaur from my dragon, which I will do a dinosaur too. <laughs> It's on my list of stuff to do but for me the dragon spikes are more than a monster so I do more spikes and they're not as fat and round they're thinner so I'm using my filbert brush which I like to use I'm gonna start them like right about here and I'm gonna do one large one, one small one, and then another small one, like right there. And then I'm gonna repeat that on this side. Also like to do some spikes at the bottom, and then I do teeth too. So let's do like here. Let's do a set of three again. Can do maybe a random one at the top. And then our dragon teeth. Okay, so I just want to pull those up a little bit higher, and I might do one more layer of teeth. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is just bring some emphasis and define our spiky horns and spikes and teeth, so we're just going to outline them with some black. I am the most impatient outliner, especially on myself. Like I'm not that bad when I outline other people, but on myself it's kind of hard because I'm looking like backwards into the camera. And it just never looks good, so I get really frustrated and annoyed and I don't like doing it. Okay, so forgive my impatient outlining. Um, it's not the best outlining in the world because I have no patience for outlining, so I try to do designs where I don't have to in general, especially on the job because I don't have time to outline stuff on the job. <laughs> and you do not have to outline these spiky horn things at all, actually. A lot of time I don't, especially on the job, and nobody ever, ever cares. Okay, so last thing that you can do if you want to is emphasize anything that you feel like needs it. So if you feel like the nose was covered up or needs a little, like, extra emphasis. I wouldn't do a totally harsh line like I just did. I would draw that in and then dry brush it in. Well, it's still wet, but it will emphasize that oversized nose. And then same thing with the bottom. Draw it in 
and dry brush it up. And that'll emphasize the nose a lot. If you feel like anything on the outside needs to be, you know, emphasized, then go ahead and outline it. But I will tell you that I do not do that on the job. And it's kind of pointless. That's the reason we used a cake or a split with a super dark edge here. Because that way you don't have to outline it and it's a full face design and it's super, super fast. So here's my dragon. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone who requested this. I hope you like it and I will see you guys in my next video.